I don't know if you've noticed. Christmas. It's coming, whether we like it or not. Christmas is coming. But do you know what? We've all gone a bit early, haven't we, with Christmas? Which I think is a good thing, because it just means we've got something to look forward to. You know, like everyone's got their decks out, you know, I bet you've got your decks up at home already, or you're thinking about doing it this weekend, or you've done it, or you've had it done for weeks. All the celebrities went early, didn't they, about three weeks ago, put all their decks up, and we cut, it's like a ripple effect. We all start doing it, because we just needed some bit of positivity, I think. And there are loads of people across the county going that extra mile to cheer us up. One of those people is on the phone now. Hello, Nicholas. Hello there. Hello. Now, Nicholas Martin in Bracknell, what are you doing with your car? Um, yes. So I, I don't know if many people have seen uh, the car, but uh, essentially I have wrapped my car in 1,980 LEDs. So it's Christmas lights. <laughs> it is lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I love I adore this. I adore this <laughs> so you. much, Martin, because, uh, Nicholas, because it is just a simple, simple idea. But when they see you coming along in your car, people will smile. Kids will love it. Everyone will go, oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Yes, they absolutely do. Yeah. <laughs> Although you say it's simple, but it is not that simple. It took seven hours to <gasps> put all those lights on the car. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that is commitment to, to cheering everyone up and making a difference. Nicholas, yes, absolutely. Can, so what I want to know is, because I have ventured into, down this little path myself a few oh, years right. ago, but what I did was I'm a parcel shelf. I mean, it's, it's nowhere in, in your wheelhouse, but on my <laughs> parcel shelf, I put some little flashing snowmen, I put some fairy lights, and I put a flashing Merry Christmas in my back window. <laughs> and uh, at the time, I used to yeah. go to work very, very early, so it was like it is now, pitch black. And uh, it, it cheered me up. And anybody that was working at that time, you know, or on the road like I was at half four in the morning, I got loads of toots and loads of thumbs up and, you know, <laughs> and it was really yeah. nice. But I've got, I've got to ask this question. Someone said to me, oh, you know, you might get pulled over for that. I was like, yes. what? I said, what, what do you mean? And they said, well, it's a distraction, isn't it? And I said, so I took it all out. And everyone was like, no, put it back in. But I didn't I because didn't, I didn't want to get into trouble. So how do you not get into trouble? <laughs> Well, I, I will say this. Um, I did actually get pulled over the other day. I didn't have the lights on at the time. Right. Um, they saw me on private property, uh, but I just wanted to have a little chat just to make sure that uh, I don't have the lights on as I'm driving. Right. So how do people see you then? Where do they see uh, the lights? Or do you always have to be parked up? Yes, so I, sadly I can't drive around anymore. Um, I, have been, I have been told not to drive around. Aww. So what I what I tend to do um, whenever I have a free moment in the evening is I'll either go to uh, Morrison's or Sainsbury's or Tesco's and I'll pull up, park up and turn all the lights on. Um, so all the families come, take lots of photos with the car and obviously Aww. taking turns with the whole national lockdown, etc. Right. Now, how can we... Because you're doing this for charity, not just... I am, yeah. you're at a, Not because you're at a loose end or something. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you've done no. it for charity before, haven't you? But who are you, who are you supporting this time? Yes. So this year I am supporting the Shen UK. Oh. Uh, and I'm supporting the Shen UK for a little boy called Marcus, who I met last year. Um, so he was diagnosed with the Shen muscular dystrophy a couple of years ago. Um, so I was really touched by his story, really pleased to have met him last year, and I've basically committed myself to helping him out as much as possible, oh. so I'm sharing my passion of cars with him and, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, supporting the Shen UK for Marcus, and also supporting the MS Trust for my mother, because my mother was diagnosed five years ago with multiple sclerosis. So they're really worthy charities that they're going to, Nicholas. Really, absolutely, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, very close to my heart as well. Yeah, yeah, you've picked really personal ones and I really like that. Now, you, you're you from Binfield, but um, where can we... So, so have you got a little plan or a Facebook page or social media? If people want to see the, you know, your car all lit up with, you know, a billion lights, where could they see yeah. it? Um, so at the moment, it is just completely random. Uh, I don't really posts that I'm going to be somewhere okay. um, but what I am doing is uh, because it's all for charity 
if because of national um, lockdown and all the restrictions and tier two, etc., um, if people donate twenty pounds or more to the fundraising page, uh, get in contact with me. I can bring the car to you. Oh, um, that's so a great earlier idea. earlier this evening, I went to a, a nice family on, on one of the streets. Oh. Um, they donated, I think it was fifty pounds, and so I just you know thank you ever so much to them, and it was a pleasure meeting them. And uh, really glad that the, their children enjoyed the car. Oh, amazing. And, and what sort of car have you got? It's a Mini Cooper. Oh, nice. So what yeah. is the Just Just Giving page or your donation page? Where can we find that? Yeah, so the easiest way to get to the fundraising page is to go to uh, the well, festivemini.com. There's a link on there which will take you to the Virgin Money Giving page. Obviously, if I was to give you the whole Virgin Money Giving page link, take too long to say so festivemini.com every pound counts so please donate whatever you can it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much nicholas thank you thank